Richard, why why'd you lie to us about drinking alcohol tonight? Huh? Why'd you lie to us about drinking alcohol tonight? Well, I did mouthwash when I got when I crashed here, so You what? I have mouthwash in my car. I, I do drink some mouthwash isn't gonna make you not walk in a straight line and stuff though, right? I just went off the road. How how'd you go off the road though? Last night. What time? About an hour and a half ago, I saw a deer and I went off this side. You saw a deer and you went off that side? Yeah. Okay. Do you need any medical attention or anything no, like that? I'm fine. Do you want to be checked out by aid? No, I'm fine. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Okay. So where where were you coming from? Um, work. Work? Where's work? I work at um, uh, Just Janitorial and I cleaned out um, Ferndale PSE, Ferndale. Do you have like a driver's license on you or anything like that? Yeah. So how long have you been in the ditch here? Probably about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. I haven't been able to find my phone. Do you know what time it is? About five in the morning. Okay. How, how close am I? You're almost spot on. Have you had anything to drink tonight, man? No. Okay. Well, so can you tell me about the stop sign over there, too? The stop sign where? The one back at Weiser Lake Road and Old Guide. Because there's a stop sign that's outrooted there, too. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, would you want to do some field sobriety tests just to rule out DUI? Sure. No, I just swerved to go around the deer and just boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know. I just want to rule out DUI, right? Like, it's, know. you know. So, all right. So go ahead and face towards me, Richard. Okay. Okay, uh, put your feet together. Arms out, out of your pockets, down by your side. So you're going to watch this pen, right, with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Keep watching it. Okay. Okay. Relax. All right. Do you have anything that will prevent you from walking in a straight line? Do you have any medical conditions no, that will prevent you from walking in a straight line? Try and keep your hands out of your pocket oh, while we're talking to you. Here's the deal, Richard. You can stand here on this uh, on this white line. So you're gonna get in that same position that I told you earlier, feet together, arms down by your side. You're gonna take your right foot, or you're gonna imagine a straight line coming out of your left foot. You're gonna take your right foot, place it heel to toe okay. on that uh, left foot. Go ahead and do so now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Okay. All right. So the next thing is, is it's a, a preliminary breath test. Uh, it's admissible in court, so it holds no evidential value. It's 100% voluntary, so it's up to you if you want to take it or not. So, sure. Why not? you want to do it? All right, so what, have you ever blown up a balloon, Richard? Yes. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to form a nice seal around this tube here, and you're going to make one consistent blow like you're yep. blowing up a balloon. Nice consistent. Not too hard. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Maybe a little harder, keep blowing, blow, blow, blow. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. So where, uh, so you were coming from work? Yeah. Which is where again? Um, I was, the uh, last job I cleaned was uh, Ferndale PSE. Okay. Ferndale uh, Future Sound Energy. Gotcha. Okay. What, why is your tire blown? Were you trying to get out and dug a big rut here? It looks like there's yeah, a huge no, rut here. Yeah, I was trying to dig a rut here and... <laughs> you blew your tire doing it. I can smell the burnt rubber. Yeah. Oh, so can I. So yeah. I, I, I just, I thought I could get out. I thought I was just on the side of the edge. And when I hit the deer, I mean, thought I hit the deer or whatever. Yeah. Yep. What's the deal? All right. All right. So, Richard, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your hands out of your pockets, turn around, and place your hands behind your back. Richard, why why'd you lie to us about drinking alcohol tonight? Huh? Why'd you lie to us about drinking alcohol tonight? Well, I did mouthwash when I got, when I crashed here, so. You what? I have mouthwash in my car. I, I do drink some mouthwash. Mouthwash isn't going to make you 
not walk in a straight line and stuff though, right? No. Well, well it depends what, on how much you do if you rinse your eyes. Point one four seven. That wouldn't be cause my mouthwash either. Yeah, it would. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, do you have someone that can come get the car? Well, oh. I don't think they can come and get it, can they? Well, well it's got to get towed out. Yeah. Can regardless. you have it towed to my wife's house? Huh? Is this her truck or? Yeah, this is my wife's truck. Like I saw, it's registered to her. Uh, what do you think, Deputy 111? Three, seven, one, 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 one in custody. Uh, mm, she has to pay the tow bill. Yeah. Yep. Is she, would, would we be able to get in contact with her by phone or anything? Because if not, yeah. then we just got to tow it to the yard and then they, they can yeah, deal with no, it after. Yeah, you can contact her by phone. That would help. How many keys you got on you, buddy? I, I like clean businesses. I'm telling you, I'm a just janitorial. I, What's her I phone number? Like... I'll try to give her a call. If she doesn't answer, then we're just going to have to tow it to the yard, okay? Okay. And then you can still get it after that, but... All right. All right, Richard. Let's yeah, go going back this way. What's her name? Frida. Frida? Frida? Oh, okay. Hey, is this Frida? Hold on right there. Yeah, yeah, that's hey, Frida, this is Deputy Dyke from Homewalking yeah, County yeah, Sheriff's we're Office. We're going to go with us. Um, so, I believe it's your husband who's driving the black Chevy right now. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be under arrest today for DUI. Um, he's driving while intoxicated. Um, he, he crashed the truck into a ditch here on the, um, or Bartlett and Old Guide. Um, and so the truck has blown back tires and it's in the ditch. Um, yep, just down the road, because I hear you live in... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I'm wondering if we should just... You, do, you, guys, do you just want us to deal with the truck? Do you just want us to tow it? Um, because it, it needs to be towed out of the ditch here. Um, so it's it's obviously the truck's registered to you. It looks like. Um, do you just want us to tow it? Just because you, you're obviously going to be dealing with getting him out of jail and stuff. So. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. Like I said, it's got blown back tires, and it's it's he dug a pretty good rut here, so it, it's probably going to take the tow truck driver a good amount of time to get it out too. Um, but. Um, I'll make sure to write your phone number down so I can give it to him to take to jail. That way, he can give you a call when he gets there, okay? Okay, Freddy, you're welcome. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then, so there's going to be a tow form uh, that will say uh, where it's going to, what yard it's going to be at, what a tow yard, um, and it'll be in his property at, uh, at the jail. So when he gets out, he'll have the form with him. Yep, and it'll have all that information on it. Okay, awesome, Frida. We'll, we'll take care of the truck then. Yep, for sure. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it, like I said, that's that's up to you. Um, he's uh, yeah, it's, it's totally up to you. Yeah. All right, Frida, you have a good one. Okay, bye. All right. All right. So we're we're just gonna tow the truck. Frida doesn't want to deal with it. Um, yeah. She just she's got already got to deal with you going to jail now. So. Okay. So, so we'll get the truck towed and brought to a yard, and then the tow form will go on your property, so you'll know where it's at and stuff, okay? Okay. All right.